All right, Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee joining us now. It's definitely pretty cold still outside, Alina. Yeah. Single digits, so people really need that heat, but conserving it, of course. Yeah, absolutely. We're not over with the cold air just yet, but I think the Arctic air that we've been dealing with over the last week is starting to less lighten its grip a little bit on our area and especially to our south where temperatures will be warming up there as well over the weekend. Right now, though, you can see a lot of sunshine from most of our view and even this one. Uh, has cleared out. This one's from I-29 up towards the airport with our Border Home Improvement City Cam network, but the visibility at KCI still reporting half a mile there. So you may still encounter just a little bit of a uh, dense fog just along I-29, just north of the 435 loop, and perhaps even some snowflakes. We're tracking a couple of those very fine snowflakes that have developed near Leavenworth up along I-29 and just near St. Joseph and Edgerton. However, those are starting to come to an end. I'm not expecting a whole lot more than that as we head through the remainder of today, but there is another opportunity at maybe some rain and snow, a mix of that and very light in nature as we head through this weekend. So forecast track, I do want to show you when that could happen for the majority of us staying mainly dry all the way through the end of the week. Now what you're seeing here, this little white dot indicating a small chance of some snow showers, mainly in Iowa, perhaps in northeastern Missouri, but staying out of our viewing area. As we get through uh, Saturday, that could be the case again, and I think the majority of us will be dealing with uh, dry weather through Saturday evening before this next system arrives. Now this one will bring us mainly light rain, maybe a little patchy drizzle, perhaps mixing in with some sleet and snow showers as we head through the first half of your Saturday or Sunday. I should say not Saturday. This will be Sunday afternoon. It'll be scooting on out of here and then clear skies and a little more sunshine anticipated for next week which will also do wonders for our temperatures. Forecast track showing you those numbers as the Arctic air to our south continues lifting slowly out of the uh, to the north up towards Canada. Temperatures Friday will be near 30 and then at least a little warmer as we head through this weekend. While we're not expecting 40s, I certainly think we'll be above freezing, which will help lead to some additional melting, which may cause a couple of issues later down the road. Right now, though, obviously everyone or 73% of the country is covered in snow, as you see that from that map behind me. Now, Security Bank seven day forecast. I do want to go over the nice chance of 50s next week, 53 Tuesday. There's some indication Monday may be just as warm, but because there's snowpack to our south, it's going to moderate the air, that warmer uh, air mass. So by the time it get, reaches us, it might just be a little bit cooler. Kelly, back you to you. You know what? We are not complaining after what <laughs> we've been through. Thank you, Alina.